stinging insect allergy uh, generally involves allergy to the sting of uh, what we term hymenoptera, which are the stinging insects. Generally includes hornets, wasps, bees, even fire ants can cause a similar type of allergy. Certain individuals will be allergic to the venom from the stinging insect, whereas other individuals will not. In a non-allergic individual, you can still get redness, pain, local swelling. That's pretty common with any stinging insect. If it starts spreading in a limb uh, beyond the elbow, for instance, beyond the wrist, all the way down to the hand, or if you start getting symptoms elsewhere like hives on the leg when you were stung in the arm, um, swelling, which can be especially relevant in the face, uh, tongue, throat, that can cause trouble breathing, or even a full-blown allergic reaction where multiple systems get involved. And uh, some individuals will even feel their blood pressure drop, feel like they're going to faint. Um, and stinging insects can be very serious uh, in terms of allergy and can cause even fatal reactions. We'll start with a clinical history which can give us some clues and oftentimes patients will know exactly what they were stung by or that they were stung right next to a wasp's nest and so we can guess that it was the wasp. Uh, but we'll generally do a full panel of testing, uh, both with skin prick testing where we put an extract uh, to every stinging insect that we know and then we will gradually increase the concentration of the prick and move into an intradermal test where it's injected under the skin. And then we will separately also do specific IgE testing, which is looking for the specific IgE, which is the allergic antibody, against each of these stinging insects. So the most important thing for patients who are truly allergic to insect stings is to carry an epinephrine auto-injector and to know how to use it. So making sure that they themselves know how to use it and other loved ones who will be around them at a time when they might get stung also knows how to use them. Um, in addition, we advise avoidance of uh, some areas where we know that um, stinging insects tend to hide. Um, so for instance, a soda can at a picnic. Um, there might be a stinging insect in there and drinking that stinging insect could cause you problems um, in, in terms of an allergic reaction. Um, in addition, there actually are allergy shots against stinging insects. So that's something that a lot of people are not aware of, but um, certainly in patients who have had uh, severe insect sting reactions, um, some of which have been life-threatening, um, or people who work in areas such as golf courses where they really can't practice avoidance, uh, then we'll try to make them tolerant of the stinging insect venom uh, by doing allergy shots.